Uh, next one is from Dan. Thanks for all the informative videos. Thank you so much for watching, Dan. I really appreciate it. Um, I drew up a tool shelf organizer for practice and decided to create a 2D drawing with dimensions. Problem we're having is getting the right view. Yes, this one is good. This was actually one I answered also on Instagram um, the other day, and I'm glad that this one came from Dan so I could show it to you because this is one I think is extremely uh, useful to know. Um, so let's go ahead here. I brought in a file. Let me open it up here. Some of you guys are probably familiar with it. You hear the thunder outside? Uh, this one, anybody seen this? Um, now, this file here, if we go and say we're gonna create a 2D drawing from this, pretty straightforward. Like this, coming up just in a second. Like this here. Um, we can place our first view and we hit OK to that, so that gives us a first view. Then we can go up here and click Projected View, and we can create some projected views of this, whatever kind of format you want, standards, all that stuff. We can even do section views, right? So we can go in here and we can click and create a section view uh, through this one that then will give us kind of like a broken view through here. Um, there's detail views, but what when there is a when you want a view and you can't get that view it's just not any of the default you're getting out of the projected view here is an awesome trick uh, let's get back into fusion let's back over to our little electrical box so here's a trick if i move this one to a view and this actually also works for cam i've used this a lot there's a certain view that you really like to show. So I'm gonna, I really would like this view here. It's odd, uh, I know, but this is the view I want, so you can't tell me what not to do. Um, if you go over here, there's name views over here, and here are the standard views, but you can actually right click, and you can say name, create a name view. And you can right click here, you can name it, so let's call it Lars, um, and you can actually adjust it. So if I move over here and do this instead, I can right click and update this name view. Now, if I save this file, you should always give it something, edit named view. Like this, that is now a name view I can always go to. So at any point you're working in your model, we are looking at it from the top, we are working at it, you know, from wherever, we can always go into a name view, we can double click on Lars, and it goes to that named view. <laughs> now, since we've saved it, we go back to a 2D drawing, you will now see that it flags us up here that it is, has needed update. So I update it, and what have happened now is if I go ahead and create a new base view over here, if we go over here to the view orientation, drop down, look, there is Lars, and there is that named view that we can now place here uh, on on the drawing so you can actually create I don't even think there's any limit to how many views you can add in here this can be super helpful if you're ever getting into the manufacturing workspace in here be aware of that in here it has its own name views this is super good when you're doing cam you're zooming really in this works if you are working in the sculpt environment in sheet metal whatever create name views this was super helpful uh, I've used this a lot. Dan, I hope you find this useful. Thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. Comments. Hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed. It really mean the world to me. Uh, I really appreciate if you do that.